feel like we've been doing this a lot lately. 36,000. Once we hit 40, we'll start using a different colored marker. Came out from under that dock and just smoked it. Boat flips only, right, Cameron? Look at that, dude. It's too much fun. I'm gonna bust out this custom paint. Tank. Tank on the custom paint, dude. Oh my gosh, it's a tank. It's a tank, dudes. This is a monstro. It's not just a tank. This is a certified monstro, guys. What's up everybody, hello and welcome to the channel and thank you to all the new people subscribing. We just hit 36,000 and I appreciate you all for riding with me. The growth lately has been phenomenal and I'm so excited to see where we can all take this thing from here. I have a goal in mind that I will share with you. I wanna hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year and at this rate, I think that goal is realistic and achievable, but I can't do it alone. So share the videos as much as you can to any and all social media platforms, interact with likes and comments, and let's see how many new people we can get to punch their ticket and join in on this ride. All big channels were small channels at one time, and best believe I have big goals and big dreams for us here. The bigger the channel gets and the more exposure that we can generate, the more awesome opportunities will present themselves, which only means cooler and better content for you guys. So let's grow this sucker. Thank you all once again for riding with me. In today's video, I'm back on the home pond, beautiful Lake Travis, Texas, and I'm headed out to throw reaction baits of all things. I'm gonna start off throwing the flush at some schoolers that were chasing bait balls up near the surface, but I'm going to quickly transition to throwing top water. And then later in the day, once the weather starts rolling in, I pick up that custom painted one of one sob sack bone belly thread fin money maker 5000 aka the trace this one right here that you guys have seen me unbox in a previous video and well you already know from the thumbnail and the title of the video what's about to happen certified monstro there are some really awesome and interesting catches in this one so please watch all the way to the end because the last fish of the day was the right kind let's get it What's up, buddy? Welcome to the video. Starting this one off with a flush catch. This dude showed himself out here in the middle of this cove. He's busting on bait. Picked up that flush. First cast. Boom. Just a little chunky late summer feeder, but getting healthy. Good looking fish. Nice. That's the way to start the day. Later, dude. Thanks for the fight. Just busting all in this cove. I can see, see shad everywhere, just tinkling and twinkling on the surface. Tinkling and twinkling. <laughs> twinkling all along the surface. There's bait fish. Schools everywhere. Fish busting on them. So I'm just sort of cruising around, looking at the live scope, chasing these balls of bait, casting to them. See if I can draw one up. One on the board. I won't blast it. As soon as it hit the water, he blasted it. I saw him run out and blast it. I'll be a guad. Yep. Sure enough, the way he hit it, I was like, that's gotta be a little rock dwelling guad. Pretty fish too. Good, he's got sharp teeth, man. This fish's teeth are needles, son. Pretty fish. Yee. Came out and freaking crushed it out from under the rocks. Those guads, man, they love to sit up in those rocks and ambush. And he unleashed the fury, boy. Unleashed the fury shirts coming. Next line of shirts coming. New designs coming soon. You guys keep your eyes on the website. Also want to remind you guys that we got all the, the hats back in stock. They're going quick though. Check out theheaterzone.com if you guys want to support the channel. Pick up a piece of merch, t-shirt, pack of stickers. 
some heater headwear. We got so many different kinds of hats and uh, you guys support has been amazing lately. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for riding with me. Top link down below in the video description if you wanna check out the merch. Let's go ahead and see if we can get us another one. Throwing a few different baits today. Throw the trace around for a little bit. Threw some top water. Two fish on the flush so far, that's it. Cameras keep overheating. It's hot, it's calm, it's clear, the water's clear. But I'm seeing a lot of fish, having a lot of followers. I'm hopeful we'll be able to put a few in the boat. We need like at least Johnny Five to come alive out here, get six in the mix. Seventh heaven, eight is great, nine is divine. And then that 10 for the win, that would be, that would be nice. That's what I'm shooting for today. 10 for the win, let's go. It's a little nicer fish. Oh, that's a guad. Dang, I thought it was a large mouth. He's so big. Nice. My buddy Dave told me that he was out here catching like one and a half pound guads left and right yesterday. Dude, that's a nice guad right there. Shoot. Look at the teeth on this fish. Guys, I don't know how well you can see the upper jaw. Look at the teeth on this fish. I mean, god dang, dude. They are just ferocious. If he was full, he'd be a pound and a half probably. Oh, I forgot my dash cam died because of the stupid heat. That's a decent guad right there though. Well, I just caught another guad, fourth fish on the day. Both cameras died before I could even release that last guad that you saw, but that was a nice guad right there. If he was full, he would've been about a pound and a half. So yeah, GoPros keep overheating on me. I'm gonna have to do some Googling and figure out how to keep GoPro Hero 8s from overheating because it is an issue in Texas. But uh, yeah, like I said, just caught another little guad. Throwing the flush, that's what they're eating. I'm gonna keep rolling with it. And let's see if we can get some more in the boat. Four so far, I'm trying to get Johnny Five to come alive out here. Feels good to be back out here on the home lake after a little hiatus, putting some fish in the boat. These guads are mean and their teeth are sharp. Let's keep fishing. Well, dang, there's a fish just sitting right here. These clouds over here, man, look pretty gnarly. Got some storms popping up. A little bit of weather. Oh, a little bit of wind picking up now, I see. I don't know if these storms are actually gonna hit us. Oh, at least not right now, not anytime soon. Maybe not at all, probably not at all. But hopefully they'll at least kick up a little bit of wind and kick up a little bit of cool air. Cause it's been hot and stagnant out here this morning. The wind is your friend. Here it comes, I ain't mad at it. Let's go. This is a this is like the very, very front part of a front. This is the front side of a front coming in. Look at all the clouds and cover headed our way. Come on, let's go. Get them fired up and eating over some. Just have one pop the top water. There's the yacht rollers. freaking crushed it but missed it felt like he punched my rod handle blasted it so hard there he is look at them all it's a wolf pack this is a nice one it's a nice one dudes yes he got fish with him look at them all look at them all right here Yes! 
multiple nice fish over there in that pocket. That's a tank right there, dudes. Yes, yes, yes. He had two just like this with him. Look at that. Persistence, man, persistence. That'll work. That'll work. That Dogma 100, baby. Yeah, he had two fish this size or bigger. Swimming with him all the way up to the boat. Nice. So you got the fungus among us on him right there. See on his gill plate? He's got that little uh, green spot. That's some sort of skin fungus disease something i'm not gonna touch it later buddy dude that was sick i had to cast over there a few more times to get him to finally come back out and blast it but when he did he roasted it he had friends with him let's get back over there see if they push back up into that corner dude top water bite midday cloud cover let's go I ain't mad at it. I'll take that all day long. That was awesome. Hit it super shallow too, right off the bank. Is that Johnny Five is alive? I think Johnny Five just came alive out here. This summertime water's 85 degrees plus, 86 and a quarter right here. So that's the water temp for those of you who have asked me to break that down. Show you the bait, six cents Dogma 100. 100 millimeter walking bait. This is the ghost shad color, something like that. And uh, throwing it on the 6.9 medium moderate heater series from Six Cents coming soon. My own custom line of rods from the six. Got it paired up with the Shimano Corrado DC 7.4 to 1. Pitching and twitching, you know the deal. Rolled up on a wolf pack, a little three piece and a soda. Three piece and a soda. Shout out to Jorge Gamebred Mazvidal. Floating docks are the stupidest thing. Dock owners are like, we're gonna create an elaborate system of ropes and pulleys. Like a freaking game of mousetrap around these dang things. tank dudes it's a tank came out from under that dock and just smoked it there's a tank boat flips only right Cameron look at that dudes oh man yeah saw her come out and just annihilate it and that's a tank Look at that fish, dudes. Look at that fish. Yes. Awesome. Too much fun. Watched her just blast out from under that dock and annihilate this thing. And that's what it's all about right there. Awesome. She was right up under there. Beautiful fish, man. Beautiful fish. You ready to go back? You go right back down there to where you were, pretty girl. She's gonna go right back down. Six in a mix. That made my day, dudes. That was awesome. Just saw her blast out. That was sick. Skinny summertime fish. She was skinny. Dying for a meal. Let's have a little dinkster come up and grab it. Oh, looking down at the live scope. Squad came up and smoked it. Number seven, what's up, little eater? 
Yeet. That's not the one I'm after. Absolutely crushed it. Is that number seven or eight? Lost count. I think it's number eight. Eight is great. What's up, little buddy? He freaking hammered it. Where are you going? Get back here. You want to drive the boat? You can't drive the boat, bro. He freaking kerplunked. He hit the kerplunk. I think that was first cast over here. First or second cast. Just made a move across the way. Was fishing over there. I just came across this other side and cast it out. Skidoosh. Well, I think this trip's about to get cut short. So we got a pretty intense squall headed towards us there. I might need to go throw this thing back on the trailer. There was a freaking tank fish that was just blasting right towards me. Came right up to the bow. Saw me at the last second was like, ah. Oh. That was about to be a freaking swim bait buster. And I blew, I blew it. I think this is going to go right around me. That's all I'm going to say. This, this storm is going to go right around me. It's going to be all good, dude. At least we got some wind now. Throwing that bomb, 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 bomb. Fish right there. We got followers, but we need busters. Look at this fish. God, you see that? Another tank followed it all the way up to the boat. Another thick one followed it right up to the boat. I mean, dang. It's cool to see fish, but followers are frustrating. I've been really close to catching a nice fish twice now on this spot. Come on. Commit. Storm went right around us, so that's good. I'm going to take this opportunity to switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna bust out this custom paint one of one I'm gonna be really careful about where I throw this thing but this is a pretty clean spot just some big rocks so I think it'll be relatively safe and I'm gonna bust out that smoke show straight heater that Casey painted for me little tip on these traces guys the tails are made out of that elastic type material so make sure you uh, keep them separate from all your other soft plastics. Or you'll be going through your tails quick. All right, first cast with the custom paint. Just a little bit more natural. Hopefully get them to commit when they see it. It looks good. Can't confirm. It looks good. tank on the custom paint dude oh my god it's a tank it's a tank dudes this is a monstro it's not just a tank this is a certified monstro guys look at this look at this fish come on stay on oh, i wish i had my net but i don't this is a tank dudes oh man this might be a i mean this might be a oh my god look at that Oh my god. 
I was about to say it might be a PB. It's not a PB, but it's a certified monstro. I mean, second or third cast with the new custom painted trace after the cows rolled through, sent the rollers at me. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God, look at this fish. Yes, yes, yes. Woo. Oh my gosh, I'm psyched, dude. I'm psyched. This is a freaking tank. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Adrenaline. Adrenaline dump. Freaking adrenaline dump. Oh my gosh. Look at this freaking fish, dudes. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a certified. That's a certified on that custom painted smoke. Yes, dude, I'm so stoked on this fish, man. I'm so stoked on this fish. Let's get her unhooked, give her a dip. On that custom painted smoke. Nothing left to do now but let this big girl go. Y'all ready? She's ready. There she goes. Still see her. She's gonna go down and stay down. The last fish I caught that that size that caliber was also on the trace swim bait the new trace swim bait from six cents fishing just released sold out in just a couple hours uh demand super high and it straight catches tanks if it, as you guys have seen multiple times here on the channel uh, it just draws out a bigger bite for me and i love it dude so much fun throwing this bait first fish ever on the custom paint from the boss man dang man that means a lot dude that one means a lot to me I just, I can't even describe to you guys how much of that fish means to me after, you know, the, the struggles I've been going through. We all go through struggles, man. We all have ups and downs and I'm no different. I'm human. I'm not perfect. And every day for me, isn't just all freaking sunshine and rainbows and la di da di da We get the fish all the time. I mean, I have struggles physically, mentally, just like everybody else, man. So, um, if you're out there going through anything, man, if you struggle with any sort of physical or mental demons that you have to battle on a regular basis i just want you to know that you're not alone and that even the the people who seem the happiest and the brightest on social media go through the same stuff when they're alone at night and uh there is no internet and there's no there's no facebook or instagram or youtube we're all human i'm human i'm not immune to it my life isn't perfect and uh the past week or so have been a little rough for your boy which is why i haven't been uploading or posting much but we're back out here today trying to just grind ourselves back into some sense of normalcy and I can't think of a better way to do it than a nice six pounder on a one of one custom painted trace swim bait man I've caught a lot of nice fish on this bait guys a lot of nice fish on this bait and I'm gonna keep throwing it gosh awesome good times right place right time bait adjustment switch it up to the custom painted trace a couple casts later you guys saw it man i think that's gonna be a good way to wrap this one up i'll meet you guys back at the house in the garage Whew. i needed that thank you lord and there that was guys i hope you enjoyed it what an awesome day of fishing closed it out with a nice six pound tank to end it and i needed that one man touching back on something that i said out there on the boat there at the end i just want you all to know 
that having you all in my corner means so much to me. Anytime I'm going through it, which I do, I struggle with life's ups and downs just like you, but every single time you guys are always there to check in on me, to lift me up, and to encourage me to keep grinding. Now, I'm not complaining. I'm blessed and I'm fortunate beyond comprehension to be able to do what I do, but I'm human and life happens. Your support and positivity never ceases to amaze me. And I thank you all for riding with me like you do. If you are out there struggling with your own issues, whether it be physically, mentally, or both, I want you to know that you are not alone. We are all in this together, and I will always be there for you just like you are for me. So don't hesitate to reach out. I respond to every DM that I receive. The best way to contact me is on Instagram, so follow me over there at the Justin Royal. That is also a great way to keep up with the day-to-day, -day, see some behind-the-scenes sneak peeks at what's to come here on YouTube. Links for all my social media are below in the video description. And while you're there, hit that top link and check out the Heater Zone. That's where you will find all of the J Royal merch hats, t-shirts, etc. As always, I have to give a big thank you to Six Sense Fishing for helping us do what we do. If you guys are in the market for some of the best baits and fishing gear in the game, check out Six Sense and use code JR10 at checkout on SixSenseFishing.com for 10% off everything they have to offer using the JR10 code is absolutely the number one way that you can help support the channel so that we can continue to bring you free fishing content here on YouTube. And don't forget to send me a screenshot of your order on IG so I can give you a shout out. Much love, everybody. I appreciate you all for taking time to watch this video, but that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll see you in the next one. Dude, when that fish bit, my bait just stopped. It just stopped. And I knew there was nothing out there for me to run into. So I just swung on her. And she was fighting. She was jumping in the air, thrashing, spitting. Oh. Got her in the boat.